Hello everyone, it's your next Dennis Florence and you welcome back to my channel where we talk all about health and wellness. In today's video, we're going to be looking into the topic fever, which is also called hypertemia, high temperature or pyrexia. Just so you know, fever is not a disease, it is not a sickness, it is a sign of many different sicknesses. So we're going to be looking at its definition, causes, other symptoms that accompanies fever, its prevention, and what to do if you or your loved one has a fever before going to the hospital. To my subscribers, thank you for always coming back and if this is your first time of visiting my channel, you're welcome to the family. Kindly subscribe, like and share. Before I go on with today's topic, I would like to talk briefly about the thermometer. A thermometer is a device that is used to measure the temperature of the body. There are different types of thermometers, but the most common types are the digital thermometer and the mercury or alcohol thermometer. The less common type include the liquid crystal thermometer and the food or meat thermometers. The digital thermometer is generally considered to be the safest to use. Thermometers can be used in different ways. There are thermometers designed for certain areas of the body. The axillary thermometer that is used under the arm or under the armpit. Oral thermometer used under the tongue. Tympanic thermometers used in the ear. Temporal artery or infrared thermometers used across the forehead and rectal thermometer used in the rectum. Rectal thermometers are usually recommended for infants because it can be difficult to check their temperature since they don't sit still. Now back to the topic of today. What is a fever? A fever is a temporary increase in one's body temperature often due to an illness. Having a fever is a sign that something out of the ordinary is going on in the body. Normal body temperature varies throughout the day. It is lower in the morning and higher in the late afternoon and evening. Normal body temperatures are different for everyone, but they lie within the range of 36.6 to 37.2. A person is said to have a fever when the body's temperature is 37.5. For some school of thought to say 38 degrees centigrade or higher. An area of the brain called the hypothalamus or the body's thermostat controls the temperature of the body. In response to an infection, illness or other causes, the hypothalamus may reset the body to a higher temperature. When this happens, one may feel chilled and add layers of clothing or wrap up oneself in a blanket or one may shiver to generate more body heat, eventually resulting in an elevated body temperature. Fever seems to play a key role in helping the body fight off a number of infections. A fever can be a sign of several health conditions which may or may not need medical treatment. The most common cause of fever are infections caused by a virus, a bacteria or a fungi. Other causes include heat exhaustion, a malignant tumor, sunburn, blood clots, COVID-19, certain inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, that inflammation of the lining of the joints, hormone disorders such as hyperthyroidism, some medications such as antibiotics and drugs to treat high blood pressure or seizures, some immunizations such as diphtheria, tetanus, acellular pertussis or pneumococcal vaccine, autoimmune conditions such as lupus and inflammatory bowel disease. Sitting in babies also cause a mild low-grade fever. Fevers are signs of some sort of illness or infection. Depending on what's causing a fever, additional fever signs may include sweating, warm forehead, sore eyes, headaches, muscle aches, chills and shiverings, loss of appetite, irritability, dehydration and general body weakness. Fevers by themselves are generally not dangerous, but you should go to the hospital immediately if an adult's temperature is 38 degrees centigrade or higher. A very young infant under 3 months has a rectal temperature of 37.5 or 38 degrees Celsius or higher. A 3 to 6 months old has a rectal temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or higher. A 6 to 24 months old has a fever higher than 38 degrees Celsius for more than a day or with other symptoms such as diarrhea or cough. A child older than 2 years has a fever that comes with rash, real discomfort, irritability, headache, stiff neck or repeated diarrhea, vomiting or stomach ache. Any temperature over 38 degrees Celsius in a child which would cause a seizure. Any fever that starts after someone has been in a hot temperature which could be a sign of heat stroke. The fever does not go down after taking over the counter medication. You have been in contact with someone who has COVID-19 and you have a fever that lasts longer than 3 days. 
Fever can be prevented by reducing exposure to infectious diseases. Some of the ways to prevent fever include 1. Wash your hands often and teach your children to do the same, especially before eating, after using the toilet, after spending time in a crowd or around someone who is sick, after petting animals or during travel on public transportation. 2. Carry hand sanitizer with you for times when you don't have access to soap and water. 3. Try to avoid touching your nose, mouth or eyes as these are the main ways the bacteria or viruses can enter into your body and cause infection. 4. Cover your mouth when you cough and your nose when you sneeze and teach your children to do likewise. Whenever possible, turn away from others when coughing or sneezing to avoid passing on the germs to them. When you have a fever, you can lower it by drinking plenty of fluids that's either water or juice. Fever can cause fluid loss and dehydration. For a child under age 1, use oral rehydration solution, that's ORS. This solution contains water and salt proportioned to replenish fluid and electrolytes. Remove clothing. Fresh air or breeze will not harm a person with fever, rather it will help lower the temperature. Keep the room temperature cool. Take a cool bath or a lukewarm bath. Tap a sponge with cool water. Soak flannel in cold water and place on your chest, your forehead, or your armpit. You can give over-the-counter antipyrexia. Activities can raise your body temperature, so you need adequate rest to recover. Don't forget to go to the hospital so that the cause of the fever can be identified and treated. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you find this content helpful and useful. Please subscribe for free by clicking on the red subscribe button on my channel page or the subscribe button at the end screen of this video. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. You can drop your comments and questions in the comment section below and I will attend to them. I remain your next donors and I'm just a knock away. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.